To get up and running quick with your Seymour HMI, make sure to install the Seymour programming software. You will need a licensed version of the software as a demo software will not make a connection to the panel. In this video, we're going to assume that you already created your sample project and you're attempting to load the project for the first time. Before we transfer the project, you'll need to set up the Ethernet port of the Seymour. Select Ethernet port from the Function tab. This portion is for the Ethernet settings for the built in port on the panel. And this is the Ethernet port settings in case you're using an EA Ecom module. This Ecom module is very handy if you need to isolate networks for traffic or for security. For this example, I will use this IP address as it works with the subnet of my PC and the Click PLC. If you need help choosing an IP address that works for your subnet, there is a video in the description below that can help you out. Select OK. And now let's make our first transfer. Select here on Send. Select Browse. You have two tabs here. There is the online link list. This is for local network panels that the tool can browse for. This remote link list is for panels that you're trying to connect with remotely through either port forwarding or VPN. Our connection is local, so go back to online. And then select to browse for the network. If your panel doesn't show up on this list, this may be due to the IP address of the panel. By default, the Seymour panel is set up for DHCP. This means that the HMI is looking for a DHCP server to give it an IP address. And now, if you don't have a DHCP server on this network, you'll need to enter the IP address manually for the first connection. To set the IP address manually, enter the system screen by selecting the upper left hand corner for three seconds. Select Settings, and then IP Address Setting. Enter in the IP address you need. Hit OK, Main Menu, then Exit. Now let's go back into our software and then select the Browse Network. And now I can see my panel. As you notice here, there is a green light. That means that the subnet of the PC and the HMI match up so they can talk with one another. If you have a red light here, that means they cannot communicate and will not allow you to transfer the project. And if that's the case, all you need to do is select here to change the IP address. But now I do have a green light. I select my panel, press OK, and then I hit the transfer button. This project will be sent to the panel. And once loaded, the panel will reboot and load up your screens. To see more videos on the Seymour HMI, please see this playlist. Select here to view our Seymour product line from our website. And if you found this video helpful, please select here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with our products and solutions.